up guys I'm very happy to give you the introduction or overview of this catalysis and catalyst course we're going to be analyzing especially the importance of catalysis in reactor engineering this is block number 10 uh, if you haven't seen my previous blocks go check them out you can start from block 0 and it continues 1, 2, 3 and so on so where are we? We've seen before mole balances, which is the basis of reactor engineering, a little bit on conversion, rate loss and stoichiometry, and isothermal design, which is the backbone of chemical engineering or reactor engineering. We've seen also how to get data on, let's say, the rate of law or rate of reactions. We've seen multiple reactions. We've seen also mechanisms of reactions. And we should see also these steady state heat effects. So once we've seen that, it's time to start with our chapter number 10, which is catalysis and catalytic reactors. Essentially, we're going to be analyzing and studying the importance of catalysis and catalysts in the industry. So once again, where are we? We've seen this one, this one, this one, and this one. We're going to be analyzing especially catalyst and where is it? Um, this one here, design of chemical reaction. Especially, you know, catalysts are used in the packed bed reactors. So we are going to center on that specific. So once again, let me show you the content, the structure of the course, uh, section one. You're going to see the basics on catalyst, the definition, heter heterogeneous versus homogeneous catalysis and catalyst catalyst properties and the classification. How do we classify them for the study? Then we continue with section number two, which is the catalytic reactions. Essentially just the common industrial applications, such as alkylation or halogenation, oxidation, etc. And how do we apply them or use them in the industry, such as huge ovens or thermal oxidizers, etc. Then we continue with section 3, which is the last, but is one of the most important ones. In this one, we're going to study the steps of a catalytic reaction. Essentially, how do you start from having your reactant A, then goes to the fuses, then it starts here to the, with the catalyst, and then react, the reactant B comes, and then you form C, and how each step is going to determine our rate of reaction and essentially the speed or the time required to make that reaction. And then we're going to apply that theory to the example of cumin being transformed into propylene and benzene. So if you like the content guys, stick with it because we're going to start with section number one, catalyst, in the next video. What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.